Hi, I'm Thel Rountree, and I'd like to welcome you to today's podcast. Hi, my name is Thel Rountree, and I'd like to welcome you to this edition of the HowAudio.com podcast. In this edition, we're going to be checking in with Steve Sost, guitar tech to such bands as TSOL and Los Lobos, for a segment on guitar bridge adjustment. Okay, now we've got the next set pretty much where we want it. The next step would be to adjust the action at the bridge. And the action, it would be generally measured at the 12th fret. And right now you can see it's a little bit high here. And we'd like to get it down where it's comfortable to play, but it's not buzzing. So what you have to do first, now this particular guitar here, the saddle height adjustments are little screws here. And it happens to be a 50 thousandths uh, wrench. That's a little Allen wrench there, and that locks right into these little screws. So what we're going to do on each one is take a measurement at the 12th fret, and what we're looking for is somewhere between 45 and 60 thousandths. And a little handy tool here, this could be the 10 cent setup, is a dime. A, a modern dime is about 55 thousandths thick, so we're right in the middle there. So what we're going to do is check it. We'll lay the dime under here, at the, lay it on the 12th fret and balance it. You can see that it's not quite touching. we still got a little height in there. So what we want to do is bring this saddle down. So what we'll do is take this wrench, put it in there, and turn it counterclockwise, which backs the screw out of the saddle, lowering the saddle. Now the other thing you have to keep in mind is you have to keep it tuned to pitch while you're doing this. So you take it and tune the string back up, back up to E again. And then we'll check it again. If you hold the dime down flush to the fret, you can see we have to go a little bit lower. So I'm going to back that screw out again. Another thing, on this particular type of bridge, you want to keep the saddle level. So when you're looking at it, the saddle's level so the string rests on it in the middle of the saddle. Back that off about there. Okay, retune again each time. Okay, there's our E. Take the dime, hold it down to the fret. We're getting real close. We'll do it kind of roughly all the way across, then go back and fine tune it. Okay, same thing with the B string. We'll check that here with the dime. And we can see we've got quite a bit to go down. So once again, we're backing off the screw to lower the saddle, turning it counterclockwise. Do the same on the other side to keep the saddle level once again, like so, then retune it. Here's our B note. We'll check it again. Still got a little ways to go. As we're doing this, we're automatically following the radius of the fretboard. If you look at a fingerboard, it's not perfectly flat. It has a curve to it, and that's called the radius across there. So if we do it at each point on each saddle, the strings automatically follow the radius. So let's bring that one down a little more one more time. Yep. Again, turning it counterclockwise, backing the screw out of the saddle and keeping it level at the same time. And don't forget to retune each time, otherwise it won't be true. The neck will start moving and... There we go, that one looks pretty good. Looks like in this case it was equally as high all the way across. You might want your action a little higher if you're going to be playing really hard, or you have a really light string gauge, or you're playing slide. Sometimes we come up a little bit as you get down to the lower wound strings towards the E. You might want a little more gap because those are looser in tension and they tend to travel more, so it's good to have the action slightly higher. That one's probably pretty good. Now on to the A. That's pretty good, making nice contact. And we'll check our tuning once again. happens to be in tune. I can look here at the action and see it just where I want it, just right. Thanks, Steve. Well, that about wraps it up for this edition of the HowAudio.com podcast. Be sure to check us out on the web for all your music, audio, and software training needs. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.